Hello everyone, this is Brianna Rutter, author of one of my most popular books, The Natural Hair Bible, and founder of HowToBlackHair.com. And for this video, I wanted to talk about shrinkage. And the reason why I wanted to talk about shrinkage because a lot of you have been confused about the nature of my hair. Some of you think that my hair is shorter than what it used to be. Some of you think it's a little longer than what it used to be. And then some of you think I need a trim because of how my ends look at different times. And this is all due to shrinkage. Everyone experiences shrinkage different from one another and it's perfectly normal and fine especially when you have natural hair. Those who have relaxed hair as well also suffer or go through a little bit of shrinkage, but I know that dramatically when you have natural hair, you can see it a huge, huge difference. So first, I wanted to um, show you a spin around of how my hair looks when it's straightened. Now, just to let you know, I straightened my hair a couple of days ago. And before, when I straightened it a couple of days ago, it was a little bit straighter than what you see now. It's just a little bit poofy. That's just the nature of my hair. It's continually drying in moisture and wanting to coil upon itself as the days go on. This is perfectly fine and natural. And also some individuals who straighten their hair can achieve more of a coarse look to their hair or a silkier look to their hair depending on their texture. Everyone's hair is completely different. So just to show you a comparison of how shrinkage look, I went ahead and washed my hair and then boom, shrinkage was in full effect. It got really, really tight. The coils all came back after I washed my hair and then it just condensed on itself. Now, a lot of people can't stand shrinkage because number one, it looks really short and you can have shoulder length hair and it will literally shrink into a teeny weeny afro. And um, this is normal. This is just your natural hair's tendency, especially if you have natural hair. But some individuals also suffer with shrinkage to the degree that it gives a lot of single strand knots. And to combat that, you have to make sure that it's drying in a stretched state. Now, stretching your hair doesn't mean that you have to do a blowout or you have to flat iron it or curl it or whatever. Stretching your hair could simply be putting it in braids or twist. Some people prefer braids when they want more of the length to show, and some people prefer twist if they want more of a different look as well. What I did is I braided my hair in individual braids and let it dry. And then to show you another spin around, what I did was I took down each braid, combed it through to show you how my hair looks when it's in its own fro. Now, technically speaking, I could have dried my hair naturally after washing it without picking it out and it would have been very compact, but I don't want to encourage single strand knots, which is just my hair coiling upon itself and creating little knots everywhere. So instead of doing that it's best to stretch my hair allow it to dry and then pick it out so as you can see here this is my hair fully fluffed out fully dried it's product free this is my hair in its natural state so it's not straightened or anything like that it was slightly stretched to dry to prevent single strand knots so I hope you all have understood a little bit more to detail what shrinkage is, what it looks like, and no, I don't need a trim. My hair is trimmed. No, my hair is not getting shorter. It's just the shrinkage. So I want to thank you all for always sending me your questions and leaving your comments. And I just love seeing all your beautiful faces and hearing what you all have to say about the video and the content and things that you would like to see as well. So once again, this is Brianna Rutter from HowToBlackHair.com and I will see you all in my very next video.